Where do you, every time I look, I got a piece of eyelash on a part of my skin. Like, what? What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Sif, and I'm back with another video. What's up? What's up? <laughs> now, today we're going to be doing something a little different. You feel me? Like, where are they now? Where are they? We're going to be... We're going to be doing YouTube couples that broke up over the years. All right. And uh, before we get into this video, do me a favor and click that subscribe button down below. Smash that like button. Uh, follow me on my social medias. I'm going to put that down in the description down below. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button. And uh, yeah, we're going to be putting all our social media down there in the description down below. You could also follow me on TikTok at it's Kyler H. Cause you know we be doing bangs over there. For attempted murder, sir. I have some hair. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Kachow. <laughs> First couple on my list is Jeffrey Star and Nathan. All right, so I've never really watched Jeffrey Star's YouTube channel, but I think I've seen a little bit of him on Snapchat. You know them Snapchat stories. You know subscribe uh, stories that Snapchat be posting stuff like that. So I've seen him on Snapchat like doing a lit like little snippets of his YouTube videos, but I've never really watched him. So I don't know exactly, you know, the reason behind this breakup in particular, but I guess there were YouTube couples, so who cares? So the first on all is Jeffree Star and Nathan. I guess they were together for five years and then uh they became Splitsville. And it was just like, ah, sorry for the silence, but I needed time to heal. You know, every single relationship, uh, the backstory behind every single breakup. I needed time to heal. Let's get into the other one. All right, so next on our list, we have Jake Paul. Who is this? Jake Paul and Alyssa Violet. All right, so wait, which one of the brothers are actually like a... Well... <sighs> Which one of the brothers are boxing right now? I think he's the one who's boxing, right? Yeah, I think he's the one who's boxing. I'm not really sure. But anyway, I guess he cheated on her. But I'm not one to speculate. That's none of my business. Personally, if that's what you do, then that's what you do, boo-boo. All right. We're going down the list. We're going down the list. All right, I have another one on my list. Uh, I've never seen, you know what, I think i only seen, i seen one video. I used to watch, I used to watch Jake Paul and Logan Paul as, you know, the brother channel, but I've never really seen, you know, any videos of him on his couple channel. But I guess that's fine. Alright, next on our list, we have the infamous, the amazing. Chris and Queen. I have been, I've been watching Chris and Queen for a minute. And I feel like that was like, they broke up a few years ago, but that was like one of the actual YouTube breakups that I've actually been, you know, keeping tabs on and stuff like that. Cause like, I couldn't believe when that shit was happening. It was just like, wait, wow, are they really doing this right now? Like, are they really gonna break up? But then, you know, we seen Queen Aja doing her little thing with uh her new boo, Clarence. And uh Chris has been doing his thing with uh several females. But that's not up for discussion because I see your boy is settling down now with a new girl. They like to call her Leslie. <laughs> Alright. Uh let's go ahead and um I'm gonna go ahead and slide these two in there because honestly, this for me was a shock. It was a shock. Diera and Ken. Oh my gosh. I remember doing a video one time and I was saying like, yo, I've never seen their business on social media. And that's one of the reasons why I used to watch them. So when everything started coming out about Ken cheating and them breaking up, it was just like, what? It was even unbelievable, unbelievable for me because like, um... But you know what? Stuff like that happens all the time. And uh, I don't even know why we're shocked. Or personally, I don't even know why I'm shocked. And I don't like to believe rumors until somebody brings some receipt forward. But then again, you know, that whole hearsay thing is kind of, you know, 
puts people into uh <laughs> but hey hopefully and i really hope this deep like deep down in the and from the bottom of my soul, I really hope that Darren and Ken are secretly, you know, together and keeping their relationship off social media, period. Because honestly, the media has a way to make you and they'll break you. Like, one minute everybody is for you and then as soon as something goes wrong, like, everybody's against you. So, it can make you, but it's going to break you. But hopefully they're in a silent relationship off this whole social media thing because, ah, uh, the whore. I was just sitting down trying to do this video um before i get back into it i decided to try something to see if it'll, it'll work give me a little better sound quality uh we're gonna test this see if it works microphone i really don't think this works i don't think it works but let me not project my voice to see if it works because i don't think it works i think it only works in garage band oh my gosh <laughs> Got a little smudge here. Oh my gosh, you know what's crazy? It actually works. The microphone actually works. And I was just lying to myself because uh I had to listen to that um that video just now to see if it works or if it don't work. But anyway, let's get back into the video because I think this microphone works. <laughs> let's go back to our list because we're not trying to drag this video out too much. Next on the list we have Liza. Let next on the list we have Liza and David. Now, honestly, I've seen a couple videos from Liza and David because I like Liza. Not like that. Well, well, well it is like that. I'm not like that. No, it is. It is like that. I want to be here. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. But one thing I like about their breakup, it was on some... This is what it is, and this is what it is, and I understand that we need to go our separate ways, and I love that. You know, it wasn't a messy breakup or anything like that. It was just like... You know, we need to be split split. And it was very sad because I seen that video, you know, that they recorded. And they were together in that video. And it was just like, wow, that stuff really exists. It's still, that stuff still exists. Like, people could actually break up on some cordial, like, ah, babe, this is what it is. So that was, yeah, that was one of the, one of the better breakups from YouTube. All right, let's get into the other one cool all right i believe in a strong couple but i don't know if i should believe in like the whole power couple thing like you know like when you bring your business on social media it's just like oh my god like what's gonna happen like are we even gonna make it like does it make sense like is it okay to put our business on social media like are we gonna make it like i don't know like but honestly private life is a happy life and if you don't believe that then it's too bad for you what let me not drag this video out too much i'm just gonna do the last one here that we have in this ddg and kennedy Ooh, the confusion of social media because honestly at one point i was like are these people even in a relationship like are they even together so like when this whole breakup thing came about it was just like oh wow they were actually together i guess they were trying to have like you know a private relationship a private relationship but it didn't go too well because uh they had to go out to the public and it was just like them breaking up it was like okay but kennedy's kennedy's a very pretty girl and uh ddg comes off to me as a bad boy <laughs> so i'm not saying they don't belong together but i'm just saying maybe they find out their differences and then, and then again like these youtube couples that i'm putting forward they're pretty young you feel me and you know, you're coming into new money and it's just like, you don't even know what to do with yourself. Oh my God. <laughs> like, you don't even know what to do with yourself. So, I guess, bro, if I guess. You know what? Hopefully, you know, whoever they end up with, each and every one of these YouTube couples that we just went through, whoever they end up with, you know, that's their soulmate and that's who's, you know, gonna, you know, take their breath away. <laughs> Like, literally. Literally. <clears throat> yeah. The only thing that I'm sad about, honestly, I feel like Deere and Ken, y'all need to figure this out. Because, like, 
you know, when you see them and Chris and Queen, it was just like, oh, wow, power couple. They were, they were actually the definition of black power couple. Like, you know, you have stuff going on on, on, on uh, social media all the time. But then these little couple videos, you would always see a video of Deira and Ken or Chris and Queen. Like, it was just like, you were built for the media. And not that you should build your relationship around that or anything. It's just like... figure it out but if y'all not for each other then uh you know don't make no sense to be in an an unhappy relationship just to make some or social media happy you feel me like do what you gotta do but anyways that's that if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you've not yet subscribed to my channel do me a favor and click that subscribe button down below follow me on social medias because you know i follow back all day every day and i'll see y'all in the next video